25 years ago, I remember in Ireland at the time, overlooking Loch Dirk, beautiful Holy Island, um, in my then family home, the old rectory Mount Shannon, on the land of Inish Keltra. A most magic place, very dear to me. But I found myself in a personal biographical crisis, a deep crisis. And I couldn't travel the world anymore and I felt stuck. So I said, Adriana, just use your creativity. And if you can't go into the world, bring the world into your life. So I opened the doors of the old rectory and I found two like-minded people, Nicola Henley and Val Balins. And we gave birth to this idea of the Inish Keltra Community Arts Festival Mount Shannon in the cradle of the old rectory of my home. And we were three people with a lot of competency that complemented each other. And it was a success from the very step, from the first step. So we actually got support from the government and in uh, IMA, Irish Museum of Modern Art Dublin, and we hit the, the, the pulse of the time. So by empowering ourselves, although we, we were all facing some kind of personal crisis, we, we empowered ourselves and through that we empowered community. We brought the arts to community, to our community. And then it, it developed organically into interdisciplinary art project, intergenerational, and it grew internationally. So by, by 1999, that was my last involvement with the festival in my home, we were able to show the Irish collection of the Australian artist, Sir Sidney Nolan. And it was a, 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 an amazing experience for me to live with these uh, wonderful um, portraits, gigantic portraits on my walls. Um, but we also counted 5,000 people through my house in one week at that time. Um, after this uh, festival, I emigrated to Austra Sydney, Australia and stayed there for 16 years. Uh, meanwhile, Nicola and Val were developing it even further, the, the festival. And um, then I also learned that the Irish uh, government had taken notice of this amazing creative impulse and uh, changed the education um, law. So they gave funding for artists in residency programs all over Ireland, even the most remote schools and the children had access to the arts.